Years ago, I invited God to be a partner in my life, the first partner. And I did that the very first moment, the first day of positive Christianity. I wanted to have God as my boss and to follow God's will and leading. And many times it took me places that I would have never gone had I just decided something in Chris's mind. When you invite God to become your partner, you invite untold blessings in your life. In 1 Corinthians 3, verse 9, it says, We are God's co-workers. You are God's field, God's building. Now, let me explain what that means. We are all co-workers with God. God needs you, just as you need God. And you have to form a partnership to create something. Everywhere that you are in your life, that is God's field. And you are a worker in that field, creating something, building something. Well, do you seek purpose and fulfillment? Many people write me and they say, I don't know what my purpose is. Well, your purpose, your spiritual purpose is to form a partnership with God and allow God's greatness to come through you. The best way to realize purpose and fulfillment is to form that partnership with God. Not just a one-time commitment, but daily, every morning, and throughout the day. You are God's work in progress. God wants to mold your heart. God wants to guide your steps. But because God created you as a creature of free will, God will not force you to follow God's plan. That decision is yours alone. And it's part of the hidden curriculum of life to learn that the best way is God's way. It is a series of decisions, really, because your answer comes in all the little and the big choices that you make every day. And your choices will be reflected in every step that you take. Today, as you meet the challenges of everyday life, Strengthen your partnership with God through prayer and through obedience and through praise and, and thanksgiving and through service. God is the best possible partner. And God wants to be your partner in every aspect of life. It's an offer that you will not want to turn down.